So mangoes, melons, coconut, hint of smoke, vanilla, a touch of hay and honey. It's just, honestly, it's just a stunning nose. I could just sit here for hours and, and nose this, no problem at all. Well, good afternoon, everybody and welcome to my channel Whiskey Journey. Um, as promised today, I am going to be reviewing the latest um, Springbank 21 year old. I was fortunate enough to get a 5CL sample that I poured. Um, this has been sitting here now for about 45 minutes. I let it rest for quite some time and um, I really look forward to reviewing this one. So the cask makeup for this 21 year old is 25% sherry, 25% port, 20% uh, rum, and 45% bourbon cask. So quite a lot of different casks we use to make up this one. Bottle on the left is um, a Springbank 15 year old, and this will be my next um, single malt scotch whiskey review. Yeah, so as I said, I feel very fortunate to have gotten just a OE sample of this. Um, it's quite expensive to buy and very difficult to get, and Honestly, I don't really have the cash <laughs> lying around to be able to afford this, but um, the sample was uh, fairly inexpensive, I thought, so I thought I would just give it a try and see and see what we get. So, and this is the full sample. So, as always, I'm not going to go into the history of Springbank or anything like that. What we're going to do is just uh, give it a nose and a taste and um, see what we get. So, on the nose. Sweet fruits, there's some tropical notes there too, some getting mango, hints of coconut, and there's that subtle Campbelltown suit in the background, just picking it up just in the background there. Some mango perhaps. Some vanillas. Barley, definitely getting loads of barley too. Hmm. It's a stunning nose. Very, very good nose. I mean, you could, again, this is one of these drams you could spend all night just nosing and you might get different, different notes every time you nose it. It's a bit of hay as well. Not really getting any, any funk or anything like that. No boneyard notes for me, but that smokiness that Campbelltown soot develops quite nicely with time in the glass. Definitely picking more of that up in the background. Right, so let's just let's just get onto the taste first and see what we get.
Mm. Gentle smoke there on the finish. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's so quite a lot to pull apart here. So, initial arrival, uh, mind this is 46% ABV. Initial arrival is oily, waxy, honeyed. And then you get licorice. Licorice, fruit, mango, melons. There's a biscuitiness to it as well. Earthy, but a little bit of earth. And then the finish, just warm, gentle spice. Licorice again, that hangs in the, just hangs there and sticks to the palate. And then that background of smoke, just gentle smoke coming in waves. And that's what I'm getting just now, I'm just getting that smoke. It just sits there. Mm. That's pretty stunning, to be honest. Let's have another nosing, shall we? And a taste, obviously. It's so tropical. The nose is so tropical. Um, part of me thinks that maybe that's the the 20% rum that's coming out. So mangoes, melons, coconut, hint of smoke, vanilla, a touch of hay and honey. It's just, honestly, it's just a stunning nose. I could just sit here for hours and, and nose this no problem at all. A hint of earth coming out now in the nose. No. There's a herbalness as well. I can't really put my finger on what it is, but there's a touch of touch herbal as well. Mmm, that, there's a bit of farminess there that's suddenly coming out. It didn't get it initially, but it's very, very subtle, very soft. A typical sort of Springbank funk, but dialed down, dialed down a lot. Just stunning. Right, let's get on to the taste again, shall we? finish it's just beautiful so again much like the first sip soft and gentle oily waxy coats your whole of your mouth with a tropical fruitness mangoes and melons as I've said already hint of dried fruits in the background as well picking up a bit of um, a slight nuttiness as well Which leads on to the finish. Um, 
it's just licorice, getting licorice um, biscuits, as I said before, Tin hint of earthiness as well. And, and again, as I said, a little bit of that Campbelltown soot, but it was really, really dialed down. Um, I mean, this is certainly not, um, the, the sootiness is not nothing like the bourbon cast matured or the, um, or the sherry cast matured eight year old uh, Kilcarran, for example. This is just gentle, it's a, just a gentle dram. And mm, getting a bit of vanilla coming out now as well, which is lovely. Definitely feel like I'm getting more rum cask influence with this with this one, which I don't mind at all because I love I love rum, so I don't mind it. But it's all just everything is just very 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 gentle. <laughs> That's all I can really say. It's just it's just stunning, beautiful, elegant, classy. All right. Malted barley again. I'm going to have one third sip because I love, I'm enjoying this. Um, so, the last sip. But yeah, b barley, tropical fruits, touch of smoke, and slightly herbal. Alright, let's have one last sip. It's a busy even better <laughs> on the palette again. Tropical fruits, vanilla, oily, waxy, licorice, earthiness in there as well. Just a hint of it. Hay, hay sort of um, straw, maybe hay straw like. A bit of funk, a little bit of funk, and. Soft, soft spices on the finish. A little bit of pepper. Fruity. Mm. Whew, I don't really know what else to say, guys. Um, it's just a fantastic dram. And I obviously can't afford to get a bottle. And these are so difficult to get at retail. I think it's about 260 quid now at retail. If you can afford that sort of um, that sort of bottle, then by all means try and buy it. If you can get a 5CL sample, like I did, and you want to save that cash, I would say that's an even better choice. Would I buy a bottle of this? If I had the cash, I would. But I don't. <laughs> I don't have that sort of cash to spend on a bottle of whiskey. Um, but I'm so glad that I managed to get a sample of this. Um, Difficult to compare this to previous releases as I have only had one other 21 year old, which is the, I think it was from 2020 I had, and that was also a great dram, but very different to this one. The 2020, I think it was, was far more sherry influence. This one, I would say, um, definitely the bourbon and the rum influence I get more so than the sh sherry and the port. There is a bit of dried fruit, as I've said already. Um, there's a little bit of nuttiness there. Um, the port, I don't know if I'm really getting much port in that. Um, and I've only got the 5CL sample, so, it, you know, I think this one will award your time and patience. And I think it's a dram that you need to sit the whole evening with and just sit down, concentrate, relax and enjoy it. Um, time in the glass, I think, does wonders for this. Um, but really, it's fresh and vibrant, tropical fruit. The tropical fruit nature in this is just lovely, and as I say, I'm assuming that's more from the from the rum cask. Um, but yeah, just a classy, classy dram, um, very elegant, 
very soft and gentle. Um, just a beautiful drone from Springbank. And I can't really find any negative notes about this at all. Um, I think 46% ABV is perfect to get all of those notes. Normally I would say, I, uh, you know, cost strength is the way to go, but I think with this, 46% is fine. Um, and you just get all those little notes. All the notes just take time to develop and yeah, this is just highly enjoyable, guys. <laughs> not, much, not much else to say. So yeah, if I had the money, would I get one? Yes. Okay, so that's my um, review of the Springbank 21 2023 release. Um, as I said, for my next review, I will be covering the Springbank 15 year old. I will, with my review, I'll obviously give you the batch number and the bowling date, etc., so you can you can see which batch it is. Um, Springbank 15 for me is. Uh, very batch dependent. I've had some really, really good ones. I've had some very, very bad ones. Um, but this one that I've got is actually pretty good. So I'll be reviewing that one next. Okay, so um, thanks guys for watching. If you enjoy the content, uh, please like, comment and subscribe if you wish. But otherwise, there's nothing else to say except have a fantastic day. Okay, so take care guys. Cheers.